I'm very inspired by the account from Father Benedicto. It reveals a man who is able to enter frightening and uncertain situations to bring a message of hope and reconciliation. I'm convinced that he must have experienced sound formation and profound transformation in his spiritual journey in order to take on such a mission. And as he notes, the mission itself was transformative for him. This interaction between experiences of formation and transformation can happen in more ordinary situations, too. When I was in college, for example, I was part of a student group that formed me and pointed me toward transformation in important ways. The members participated in many service and outreach activities to elderly, disabled, and poor people. We also celebrated liturgy together regularly, studied the economic and social conditions affecting those we served, went on retreats, and made time for parties, too. I realize now that this group offered me a program of holistic formation for Christian mission in community. And in being formed, I was transformed into someone with lasting commitments to justice, peace, and the integrity of creation. This unit, then, is intended to help you to understand the vital importance of formation for transformation in your spirituality as ministers, whatever your circumstances, and to note the role of theological reflection in making this possible. As you read my notes and the Chrysac article for this unit, please keep in mind. First, spirituality is more than prayer, and it's even more than our relationship with God. Spirituality encompasses every dimension of our lives and how we are in touch with the mystery of divine presence throughout. Second, Christian spirituality has a long and rich history. As with Christian theology as a whole, spirituality develops in dialogue with the contexts and situations in which the followers of Jesus find themselves. Third, because of this contextual grounding, Christian spirituality will have various emphases at various times in history and in different parts of the world. Father Paul Bernier, in a book called Ministry in the Church, proposes four characteristics for the spirituality of priests and all Christians today. He calls it a servant spirituality and says it should be ecclesial, that is, community-centered and nurtured, incarnational, having appreciation for and centeredness in creation and sensitive to cultural diversity, calling all the baptized to be in service to the world. And it should be committed to liberation and justice.